Great, we'll start off with Bruce Beck from NBC New York. Kyrie, congratulations. How do you balance the satisfaction of getting through this first series with the journey that still lies ahead? Shoot. Hopefully I get this mic. I don't know, it's attached to something. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we got you. Yeah, I don't know. Is this the mic right here? Or does it matter? Well, I'm sorry, repeat your question. Hey, Kyrie. Um, just balancing the satisfaction of, of winning this opening round series with the task that lies ahead in this journey that you've talked about throughout the season. Yeah, no, we just want to take it one day at a time. Uh, you know, obviously, when we get ahead of ourselves, uh, that usually doesn't work out for us. So we just want to take it uh, one day at a time as we develop more of a, a collective effort that we can be consistent with. Um, you know, I just feel like we, we've made strides uh, in just a short period of time. You know, it seems like three weeks ago we were talking about getting on the same page, you know, doing the little things in order for us to win, uh, continuously boxing out, uh, you know, rebounding and stopping teams from uh, feeling comfortable against us out there. So in any competitive field, uh, you know, you want your opponent to, to feel uh, some type of physicality. So you make it harder on them. And I feel like we did that. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Kyrie, both James and Steve touched on just that they felt that this was just good to have an extended run with all of you together. Is that the thing that you're most taking from this series for, for you guys? Was that time you guys got together or is it something else that you want to translate moving forward? Uh, I think I agree with sentiment. You know, we just, just we don't want to take any of this time for granted. Uh, and we know this doesn't happen too often, uh, you know, kind of in our culture and our history where, um, you know, some, three of the best scorers to, to ever play the game, you know, on one team. Uh, and then you have a collection of guys that have, have done unbelievable things as well in this league, um, you know, either coming off the bench or starting with us. So, you know, we just want to everyone, we just want everyone to feel good. We're a selfless group. Um, we try to make sure it's not just about us three, uh, but we do understand that um, the expectations on us to perform and to lead our team, um, you know, it's just inevitable. So we, we welcome that. But we just don't want to, um, you know, get too ahead of ourselves, like I said before. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. All right, what's going on, Kyrie? Um, James said just a second ago that uh, he's already thinking about this series coming up with the Bucs. Uh, I'm wondering if, A, you give yourself a chance to rest before you even start thinking about that, or if your mind is already there, and B, if there's anything that you can take from this series that maybe you, you can apply to the next series going against them. Yeah, no, we, we do understand it's a long journey. So uh, we, we want to celebrate our small wins. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy, uh, you know, to consider the Bucks. Obviously, they're right in front of us in a few days. So uh, I agree, you know, I'm, I'm right on this, right in the same boat with him, you know, excited to, to think about the task at hand, uh, you know, how great that team is uh, and, and what it's going to take to be successful against them on both ends of the floor. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll Deal with that when that time comes. But as of right now, we just celebrate the small wins. Thankful we got out here healthy. Uh, you know, we played against, um, you know, kind of a lesser Celtics team than what it's been in the in the regular season. So, you know, we want to give all the respect to those guys and, and the amount of work they put in as well. Uh, we don't want to disrespect them or anything that they put forth in terms of their hard work. Um, you know, that boy Jason Tatum, as I said, over the time that I played with him has grown tremendously. Um, nothing short of proud of him, uh, nothing short of proud of smart, all the guys that, that have come in and, um, you know, gave us, uh, you know, comp their competitive spirit. So now we move on and, um, you know, we take what we learn from this series and, and, and move forward. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kai, are you, uh, James and Katie, are you guys tangibly in a better place cohesiveness than you were maybe three weeks ago? Or is this just well, are we, is what we are seeing just a case of really good players making big time plays in the playoffs as they're still learning each other? I, I mean, honestly, Brian, uh, shoot, I, I wish I could pinpoint um, exactly kind of when uh, things have progressed for us, but I can't think of an ideal time other than just getting more experience uh, throughout this journey. Last three weeks, obviously, you know, a lot has changed just because we we had a, a different focus than we had in the regular season. We had a little bit more time to prepare, 
uh, to communicate with one another, uh, to see things on the fly and then be able to make adjustments moving from game to game. You know, when you get an opportunity to do that, you're in the trenches uh, in this in this competitive field, uh, then, it, then it naturally brings people closer together. And then, you know, being on the road, uh, you know, in Boston, we, we had no choice uh, but to come together and make sure that we were hitting on all cylinders. So, um, you know, just have a humble approach to using our talent uh, to make each other better. And uh, when you're doing that and you're playing the game the right way, the, the game will reward you. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, your offense and the Bucks' offense are the two highest scoring, most efficient offenses uh, maybe in, in NBA history. And so when you look at the talent matchup, do they match up with you about as well as any team in the league? And especially because they have defenders like Giannis and, and Jeru Holiday. Yeah, no, I think it's it's meant for a lot of the you know best players in the league to to go up against one another and show why um, you know we are who we are, and you know, it was mutual respect on both sides for what we're uh, capable of doing talent wise. But we obviously know um, you know there's going to be some adjustments made on the fly when we're going against each other, and um, offense is is going to be easy to come by sometimes and tough, uh, but. We just got to live with a game plan that uh, we'll have a few days to prepare with and then go from there. But basketball is basketball. You know, we, like I said, once we step on the floor, then it's who can score the most and who can get the most stops. Last question, Barbara Barker with Newsday. Uh, yeah, Kyrie, I know you were, you know, you're looking ahead to uh, to the Bucks, but can you just talk about your feelings about how special it was to close this out at home? Uh, against the team that you used to play for and what what it means to you? Yeah, like like I said, uh, you know, just a humble approach. Uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity that I had in Boston. I'm grateful for, uh, you know, a, a lot of the support that I had post leaving there. Um, you know, obviously it, it wasn't the easiest transition uh, to deal with. You know, there's a lot going on personally while I was there in Boston that not a lot of people don't know about. Uh, so, you know, to see, kind of the emotions that were lingering on for the past year and a half uh, between that, um, you know, I'm just glad it's settled, you know, and, and for me, we could just move on and focus on the rest of this long season that we have ahead. Um, so just grateful that we get a chance to, uh, you know, be together in, in the trenches, you know, me and my teammates, and we just get to move, move on from this. Um, but like I say, it's nothing but respect uh, for the players, the coaching staff over there in Boston, um, you know, in terms of everything extracurricular in the outside environment, you know, that you let that handle itself. So just proud. Thanks so much, Kyrie. Yep. We appreciate it. Yep.